Welcome back. Section two of the training covers service management key concepts. This is a number of terms that you need to know, learn, and understand in order to take and pass an ITIL 4 foundation exam. But more importantly to me, this is the really core concepts that you need to understand if you want to do a good job in any role in IT. Service management. There's a definition here. Remember, these concepts are generally examined at level one. They expect you to understand and to remember the definition. Service management is a set of specialized organizational capabilities for enabling value for customers in the form of services. Um, when we talk about services, imagine something like a hotel. They might have an accommodation service, restaurant services, maybe more than one. But there's also other services that the hotel has, like, for example, laundry or entertainment. Laundry is an existing example because some of the laundry is as a service made visible to the guests. And some of the laundry is where they wash the sheets and towels, which is an internal service that you might not even be aware of. You just expect clean sheets and towels. Similarly, in IT, we have a whole range of different services that we use and that we offer to our customers. In order to develop the capabilities you need from that definition, we need to talk about a number of different things. Firstly is, what do we mean by value? If we go back a slide, service management is capabilities for enabling value. Well, we better understand what we mean by value, what value is. Then we need to think about who are the stakeholders involved? Who is it that's involved in a service? And finally, we need to think about how the services enable that value to be created. So the ITIL definition of value is this top line here. Again, one worth remembering for an exam, but it's, in, it's got some important ideas in it that I want to share and talk about. Value is the perceived benefits, usefulness, and importance of something. Value is not about money, although it might contribute to value. Value is not about all of the different things that you can measure although they might contribute to value. You've only created value with and for someone if they perceive it to be valuable. If they don't see what you are doing as valuable, then there is no value. This is really, really important to think about when you're designing services, when you're talking to customers, when you're working with customers. We can't go to a customer and say, we met our SLA, therefore you are a happy customer. The most we can do is say, we met our SLA, this is what we committed to do, are you happy with that? And then we'll find out how they perceived the benefits, usefulness, or importance of what we've done for them. Now, the purpose of any organization is to create value for their stakeholders. Who the stakeholders are will vary. The nature of the value you create will vary. And you create different value for different stakeholders. And we'll be talking about some of that in a few slides. When I teach an ITIL course in a classroom, I usually write the words value, outcome, costs, and risks on a big piece of paper and stick it on the wall. And every few minutes, I will point to one of those words, and I will say, somebody wants to explain to the class where the value is in what we've just been talking about. It's a real key focus in ITIL 4. Thank you for attending this ITIL 4 Foundation e-learning course, which is a preparation course for candidates taking the official Axelos ITIL 4 Foundation exam, which is conducted by PeopleSearch. 
One World Training is an authorized training provider for all modules of ITIL 4, PRINCE2, PRINCE2 Agile, PeopleCert Scrum Master, PeopleCert DevOps, and Service Desk Institute courses, including Service Desk Analyst V8 and Service Desk Manager V8, and many other courses. All courses offered by One World Training are available via e-learning and live online. For enrollment queries, you can contact info, I-N-F-O, at oneworldtraining.com, as you see on this slide. If you've got any questions about anything you have learned on this training course, then you can email One World Training using that same email address as shown on this slide. I hope that you've enjoyed this course, and I'd like to wish you good luck in your ITIL 4 Foundation exam. Thank you, and goodbye.